Imagine a man who's under investigation by the FBI for corruption, who runs a shady charity and doesn't report his finances, who locks out and ignores the elected officials of his village, who offends and alienates various ethnic groups, religious groups, and other civic organizations, who fails to improve the economic and social conditions of her people. That sounds like a nightmare, right? Well, this is not a fictional story. This is the reality of one Tiffany Henry, the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. And in this video, I'm going to expose her for who she is. My name is Tim Black, and this is Calling It Out. Dalton is a south suburban village near Chicago. It has about 23,000 residents. Over 90% of the residents are African American. Henyard was elected mayor back in April 2021 with over 80% of the vote. She became, she became the youngest and the first female mayor of Dalton in its 130-year history. She also serves as the Thornton Township Supervisor. She runs a charity called Tiffany Henyard Cares, which she claims provides assistance and resources to the people of Dalton and the surrounding communities. Talk about the unmitigated goal. Y'all think I'm crazy. Wait till I tell you some more about this lady. Since she took office, she's been facing allegations of retaliation, corruption, misuse of resources, and the list goes on. She's under investigation by the FBI for taking bribes from local businesses in exchange for leniency. Yeah, because she was denying people or businesses business licenses, the ability to operate their businesses. She's basically been extorting businesses. One business owner said his business was raided when he refused to donate money to the mayor's office. Another business owner said he was threatened by a brother, who's also her chief of staff, because he failed to support her candidacy. Yeah, it's that bad. The Illinois Attorney General has ordered her to stop fundraising for her charity and to register with the state. The charity has refused to open up its books to show how it raises money and who it spends its money on. It's also been accused of using the village's resources and personnel for its own purposes, such as hosting events and distributing flyers. Hilliard has also alienated and ignored the village trustees who have reported her to the FBI for investigation. The trustees have also accused her of mismanaging the finances of the village, services, and personnel. Tiffany is a problem. She's more than just a problem. She sounds a lot like a mob, mafia boss. Strong arm tactics. Corruption. This is Illinois. The village faces a record budget deficit, a declining population, escalations in crime, a worsening school system, a crumbling infrastructure, and a loss of federal and state aid. All of this under Tiffany Hayard's direction as mayor. Hingard also failed to respond to catastrophes, crises such as a flood, fires, and even the pandemic. Hingard has also been involved in conflicts with various religious, ethnic, and civic organizations within the township. She's offended the black community with her endorsements of some white outsider for a position. She offended the Jewish community. She also clashed with the gay community, the Hispanic community, the women's movement, and the media. It appears that there isn't a single entity in Dalton that Tiffany Henry hasn't alienated, cursed out, thrown out, dissed, or showed them the hand. Henry has denied any wrongdoing and says all her actions are in the best interest of the citizens of Dalton. She also claims she's the victim of racism, sexism, and hostility from the management or the political establishment. She's accused the media of spreading lies and propaganda about her. She's also sued some of her critics for defamation and harassment. So what do you think about Mayor Henry? Is she a trailblazer who cares deeply about her community? Or is she a scumbag? Sounds to me like she's a scumbag. Is she a corrupt, incompetent leader who abuses her power, betrays the trust of the people that elected her? So now that you got the background on Tiffany Henry, now as you know what I know, let's have another conversation. There have been people that have been spreading lies about how Tiffany became mayor. 
and say, oh, she's a DEI prospect. Oh, this guy, for instance, he's Mr. Conservative Voice or something. He's got a big YouTube channel with almost a million subscribers. And he lied through his face about Tiffany Henry and blamed it all on affirmative action or something. Retaliation for not supporting Hengard. In Dalton, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. What I want to hear from these people eventually is we regret voting for her because she's black. Because that's the problem. That's the real problem. The real problem is that you voted her, you voted for her because she's black. Because let's say you get rid of her. If you get rid of her, but yet you don't change your voting habits and how you evaluate candidates, if you're just voting for people based off their skin color. <laughs> Dalton is a 91% black town. It's only 5% white. All of the candidates who ran for office were black. The incumbent mayor was black. So to say they just need to not look at color when they elect is pretty stupid. It's a black town. There was no one white running for mayor. But see... How can you expect more from a commentator whose sole purpose is to read Republican talking points back to his audience who don't do any fact-checking, who don't look up anything, who just believe him just because they believe anything horrible that's said about black folks? Which is one of the reasons why I think someone like Tiffany gets away with it for so long. Because on one side you got critics who are, a lot of them are racist and bigoted, who will just do what this guy did, make up stuff, say anything. Do no research at all. Lazy as hell. In fact, most of his video was just playing a Fox video. And then, add talking point, add talking point, add talking point. But see, the black residents of Dalton, they're being abused by this woman. And they're trying to fight back. He doesn't care about helping them. Don't get me wrong. Tiffany Hennard is a horrible individual, a horrible mayor, and she should go to jail. And I think she knows she's going to go to jail. She just wants to go in some Louis, Louis Vuittons. That's all. She wants to go ride it in a limo. As I did more research into this story, man, I realized the town didn't know what hit him. Can you believe that Tiffany Hedrick was an honor roll student who went to college, who spent her whole life living in Dalton? She went to the local university, I think it was. I forget the name of it, but she graduated summa cum laude. You would think they could trust her. I don't know what got into this woman. I don't know what made her this way. I don't know what made possessed her that she would take advantage of these people that she's known all her life. Why she would run up almost a $7 million deficit. Making it so the township is basically teetering on bankruptcy. I'm trying to figure it out, man. I don't get it. Why? Why, Tiffany Henyard? If you wanted to be a mafia boss, maybe you should have went and been a mafia boss. But you're a mayor of a very small town of only 23,000 residents. Then I figured out the reason why Tiffany henyard has been able to get away with this for so long. It's because it's a small black town. Yeah, not a lot of white, powerful people live in this town. There's no one to tell. Those that you could tell, she probably paid those people off, gave them some perks, and they're quiet. Tiffany Henry is going to go down in a list of horrible mayors in U.S. history. I know this. But what's horrible, even, even just as bad about this, is that some people would use the story of this trifling, trifling public official is a way to discredit other people that haven't done a damn thing. See, when you use talking points and stereotypes, you sweep good people up. That's not right. That's not ethical. And it damn sure ain't journalism or whatever this guy was calling himself doing. Tiffany Hayward, if you had any self-respect, any self-respect at all, any morality, any decency, you'd step down. Go to her Instagram page. You'll see her posing with Joe Biden. I would have posted the picture, but I got a feeling 
she'd probably complain and try to get my channel taken down because she seems petty like that. Here's the deal, man. I'm not going to browbeat black people for electing her. There were four people running in a race, and this is what happens. Someone like Tiffany ends up winning by a couple percentage points. That's how she got into office. It's like a Democratic district where the Republicans have no support. So once you beat the primary, it's easy sailing. And that's exactly how they got Tiffany Henry in office. And now they can't wait to get rid of her. Oh, before you go, I got to tell you the most egregious thing she did. She increased her salary to over $200,000 a year for a little tiny town of 20,000 people. Then she put and changed the law with an executive order that the next mayor only makes $25,000. That way, she figured no one would want to run against her because it doesn't pay enough. She's taking trips to Las Vegas. She's got her own private hairstylist, makeup artist, getting chauffeured everywhere, a bunch of bodyguards. She's living a life like she actually did something when all she really did was lie and cheat the people of Dalton and betray their trust and take advantage of them like a common thief. Because that's what you are, Tiffany, a common thief. And I hope all the people that have reaped benefits, all the people that have helped you cheat the people of Dalton, hope they all go to jail too. But most of all, I hope that Tiffany Henry goes to jail. Orange is the new black. I hope you wear it well. For TV TV, I'm Tim Black. This has been another edition of Calling It Out.